One of the things that you mentioned was uh, you are basically, SBA is not giving the bond, it's the bonding agent. You are acting as a conduit, no different than SBA loans for that other in entity. Correct. Right. With the loans, the SBA guarantees the loan. In the surety bond program, we guarantee to the surety company 80 or 90 percent, which enables them to give you bond credit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've had experience with SBA lending as far as loans. Right. But you don't even get off base one because of the requirements that the bank or that lending institution have internally. Oh, is that right? Yes. So you don't even get off base one. Now, I've never heard of this bonding as far as um, SBA with the bonding. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, curious as to, do you have any statistics as to how many bonds that you actually are approved or have given out uh, for small businesses? <coughs> well, last year we did close to 10,000 guarantees uh, for the whole program. Now, in the glory days, uh, we were doing close to 25,000 a year. But uh, we cut back a number of offices, and uh, that put a little a few people off, so we scaled down a little bit. But we're moving back upward. Um, we're providing a, a really good service, I think, for contractors. And I think the more I get the word out, the more people will know and understand that this is for them, the service. Are there funds available today to support your program today? Absolutely, right. This is, this year we did not run out of funds, I'm not going with for, we just ended our last fiscal year end, we, we're on a 9.30 fiscal year, and so every year there's always that doubt around 9.29 whether we're going to have funding to still, still do it, but uh, this year we, we were fine, uh, as long as Congress keeps giving us the funding to do so, so uh, we haven't had any problems with, oh, I can't do the bond because we have no funding, no, it's not, it hasn't been like that, so. Okay, because that did happen on the SBA side. On the loan side? Yes, it did. Hmm. Well, there's been some scares, but so far on the bond guarantee side, we haven't had that problem. I was curious, have you ever actually not received funds from Congress? No. Okay. No. No. So it's, it's been fine. It's been, been times where we've kind of shut down a little bit while they've been figuring out what's going mm -hmm. on. But we're always able to then jump back on our feet and get the, the, the guarantees going again. Uh, we ask all of our agents, okay, you know what's getting towards fiscal year and let's get them all in. And then it's, I don't think we've lost any bids, so yeah. Yes. I was talking to a contractor the other day, and I, I wanted to do his SWIP for him, and he asked me if I had bonding. Have you had to run into engineers doing bonding for these? Not engineers, no. No, we deal pretty much primarily with contractors. But, I mean, contractors can be a janitorial contractor. I mean, it doesn't have to be somebody that pounds nails. So we do all types. Well, right. Mm -hmm. I was actually, we have an artist here, and I was, you know, some of these large projects do actually have um, requirements, like especially large capital projects, maybe not on the federal side, mm -hmm. but, you know, on the um, state municipal side, you know, sometimes art mm -hmm. is an area, and on a large, you know, billion dollar project, Mm. You know, would that, you know, would a professional service provider or an artist, would they? Well, it needs to be a three-party obligation. Someone has to be requiring it. So is some, would somebody be requiring you to perform and pay, that type of thing? Like you enter into a contract? <coughs> no, it's usually on, from a buying perspective. So, so would it be something like a financial guarantee so, uh, that you would pay back or? No. Okay. No. I'm not sure what type of bonding that would be. Sure. Yeah. 